Get ready to get this first period underway. It's going to be Otterson in for the face off of the Barons. It's an immediate win for them against Parsons. But the Dragons managed to force that puck back. Otterson plays that off the boards against Wainwright. James Parsons, captain of the Dragons, gets back. Plays that across to Jones. Jones receives it off the board. Looks to go through middle. Lays it up for Dipnell, but it's intercepted by the Barons' defence. They quickly regain possession thanks to Luke Brittle. Otterson. Over the blue line, looking for a man out front. Saw's arriving there. And that's early warning signs for the Dragons. Dipnell near side now. Plays that across. Parsons unable to gain possession there. Well, we warned it in the uh, intro there, Ben. To the viewers, that formidable front line of the Barons. Certainly seems to be out there, Gary. As Dragons play that long to Wigglesworth. Wigglesworth knocks that through. Broden unable to do anything with it. It's back in the possession of the Barons. Big hit from Chris Jones inside the board there. And we're going to get a call on that. So with 18.42 still on the clock in this first period, the Dragons are on the power play. Behind the Barons net. Plays out to Wainwright at the point. Wainwright passes that back in, but it goes through Broden's legs. Picked up by Dipnell. Dipnell plays that back round. Dragons trying to set something up now. Wayne right back. Brodeen looks, finds a man across. No one's there. It goes out of the zone. Dragons going to have to come back and reset. And the four check pressure coming there. And that's Adam Brittle. Dragons force back behind their own net. Brodeen tries to skill himself round Brittle but puts himself more in danger big shot comes on from the Barons and already Gary this special teams unit of the Dragons isn't looking like it's meant to be doing its job no it's a struggling to gel a little bit it's um, obviously with McKenzie not being on the ice and they're just trying to find their feet oh. shot in from Parry oh, and Kennedy this. goes in for the rebound oh. already we've gone gloves are off and it's Parsons Parsons and it looks like Dan Harrison. Confirmation in a minute. That's Parsons goes down. Harrison still throwing digs in. Well, is, it, is it Bruce? We'll get confirmation. There was only a flash of the shirt. Yeah, oh, Bruce. It is Bruce, sorry. Josh Bruce for the Barons. And captain for the Dragons, James Parsons. 17.38 in this first period. And there's your fireworks, Gary. Brodeen in for the face-off. Against Eaton. And Brodeen gets thrown out. Replaced by Dipnell. Dipnell wins that. Dragons on the attack again. Still 31 seconds in the original power play. That additional two minute penalty being sat by Mola. Dragons now desperately trying to set something up. Wainwright passes that back. Dipnell. Back to Wainwright. Shot comes in. Quickly played back out. The Dragons. Oh, two! The Dragons get it! Mikhail Broden, Gary, <laughs> from a very tight angle, beats Josh Nichols' glove side. Top shelf. Well, they were passing that round, looking for the shot, looking for that open avenue, and right onto the right hand corner as of the goalkeeper's net. And Broden just sitting on the goal line there. Slaps it into the top corner. What a shot. Craig Lukovic now up to Morgan. As those penalties have expired and we're back to five on five. Oh, Chapel's in. Oh! Good effort from Andy Chapel. As Brittle plays that back out. Brown Broden, Broden with the shot. Oh, and again. Goes wide. Mulcahy picks that up now. Phil Mulcahy plays that up. Pigley, Maurice beats that. Turns that back round by the Dragons. Off the board. Brittles unable to pick it up. Parry, Alex Parry picks it up. Takes it round one. Round two shoots. Oh, oh, and again. Great leg pad save from Josh Nichols there. Got down in time to deny Alex Parry. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been, <laughs> been the saviour for him up to now. And now Parry's feeling the force of the, the Barons' defence. 
as they break through to the Dragon Zone. Inside. Missed by one back door. And there's the equaliser, Gary. Oh, and it was coming. Phil Mackay. Sit on that back post wide open. Hard work done on the far side. Pass comes straight across. One all. So with 6.13 remaining in this first period, the Dragons now find themselves on a penalty kill as James Parsons goes to the box for Ruffin. Two minute power play for the Barons. Can they use this to get another goal? Head into that first period on the advantage. Well, the Dragons are gonna have to do whatever they can to stop this, go in at level. But there's five minutes still go to go yet, and there's a long way. Oh! Maynard plays out, and, and it's there it is. Maynard worked that round. Puck comes back to Saw. We already mentioned it, Thomas Saw is left wide open and beats Graham Baird, low blocker side. Minutes 46 remaining in this first period. And the goal obviously cancelling out the penalty on Parsons, so we're back to five on five. How's Lukovic? Plays that across to his defensive partner, Morgan. Looks to play there off the boards up to Bennett, but doesn't so. Lukovic in the corner now. Bit of board play. As Otterson's able to dig that out, puck still loose. It's brittle on the board. And if we were in the WWE, I'd say that's a nice takedown. <laughs> but this is ice hockey, gentlemen. It does get rough. As the Barons in the own zone now. Look to break out with Otterson. Otterson near side board. Morgan comes over. Lukovic oh, out front. Oh, well saved. Lukovic full spread denies the pass lane. We've got a broken stick on the ice. That belongs to Lukovic. Lukovic again oh, tries to lay the body down. And it beats Lukovic and Baird as Brittle just slots out to the right-hand side. Luke Brittle, glove side of Graham Baird. And within a matter of minutes, the Barons are pulling away. Goes inside through centre into the Dragon Zone. Takes a shot straight into the glove of Baird. Who put, dumps that straight on the ice and plays out with a stick. Dangerous. Oh. Brittle was almost there from the pass for Saw. Oh, and there's a big hit from Selwood on Bennett. Bennett doesn't like that and throws his stick. But it's all in good humour. As there's the buzzer. As we get ready to drop the puck on this second period. Parsons and Otterson go in for the face-off. It's won by the Dragons. We're immediately deep into the barren zone. Picked up in the corner by Dittnell. Otterson. Behind his own net. Brittle out in front finds him. Uses the board to play to Saw. Saw bears the pace. Down to Parsons is the first man back, but the puck comes to Otterson. Otterson to Maynard on the, oh. the blue shot comes in. Straight into the chest of Graham Bird. Face off deep in the dragon zone. It's picked up by the Barons. Man stationed out front. Shot oh, comes in. Save. And he's got it on the rebound. And that's a goal, Barons, with three minutes 12 gone in his second period. And that looks like it's going to be Adam Brittle with the goal. Face off, won by the Barons. Big shot comes in, goes wide. Morgan bullied off the puck. Brodine tries to get onto it. Unable to do so. Puck works his way back around behind the Dragons' net. Brodine's there to pick it up. Tries to scoop it out, does so. Off the boards. Near side now, and behind the Barons' net. Barons tried to play that quickly. Hetherington's with the four check. Brodeen does enough, gets a stick in the way, keeps that in play. He's got Farrell tied up far side on the boards. Puck comes out to Whitehouse near side. Whitehouse unable to find his teammates, and that's Chris Jones who just steps in, puts that puck back into play. As Hetherington tries to get hold of it, but the Barons are there first. And Solly Hall now with Whitehouse looks at. Try and do something. He's managed to spin and hook that in. It's gone behind the net of the Dragons. Picked up by Lewis Morgan. Just dumps that back. Jones up to Hetherington. Hetherington pauses for a second. Gives himself some space. Lays that on to Bennett. Bennett, unfortunately, not able to keep possession. Falls to Watterson who rings that round. Receives the puck back now. Nicholas Otterson for the Solihull Barons. Trying to take the bit of momentum out of the Dragons. Find Saw near side. Saw breaks the blue. Takes it round Jones. Man up front. Oh! 
And Otterson dangerously sat at that back door there. Baird does well to go post to post to stop him. In the meantime, Bennett's taking the puck back up the other end. And the Dragons able to catch the breath after that. Yeah, the Dragons have got to try and get at least a goal back and claw something back out of this period. Austin to Wigglesworth. Wigglesworth picks it up near side board. Looks to play that through to Parsons. Parsons can't touch it as the puck comes back and he'd be offside. Wigglesworth now. After coming back on side, just applying the forward check pressure, but it's off the board to Watson. Watson plays that back round. Two man forward check. Wigglesworth picks it up. No man out front. He's going to have to go alone. Oh. And Otterson just denies him. Picks that off at the end of his stick and we look to break. We've got a four on two. Comes back to Saul. Oh, Saul takes. And Gary, they were outnumbered four to two. Well, that small offering or attempt at the Barons goal by Wigglesworth just slipped away from him and then the Barons pounced, took it down the ice and saw it a straight easy shot right down the middle. Barons take a 5-1 lead. Face off, right hand side of Baird in the Dragons defensive zones, picked up and taken out. Brits quickly dispossessed and turned around by the Barons. Farrell, point, tries to pass across the middle, but it's picked up. The Dragons have uh, got a change in net mind, they've got Armstrong between the pipes now. And Jonah Armstrong now sitting in for Graham Bird. Could this be the turning point for the Dragons in this game, Gary? We've seen Jonah Armstrong earlier this season. He's, he's a young lad, but he's, he's capable. Well, I think it's, it's, he needs to be confident with his defence in front of him. And, and at the moment, the Dragons seem to be leaking goals. At least they need to stop that. Barons, centre ice with the puck. Takes it through. That's brittle. Into the corner. Chased down by three Dragons. Leaves three Barons open, though. But the Dragons come away with it. Another shot comes in from Brodeen. Oh. As... Maynard exchanging words with Brodeen there. Chapel in for the face off against Otterson. But it's a Baron to win the draw. Otterson gets a puck back at the blue. Long pass. Finds Saw. So round Kennedy. Oh, shot. It's in. And it's in. Well, Thomas Saw, with a great pass from Nicholas Otterson, uses his skill, goes round Kennedy, who gets tied up and has to go down. And then it was an easy shot against Jonah Armstrong. Well, the, uh, the Dragons have, uh, have let six unanswered goals go past them. They need to try and salvage something out of this. Eleven minutes eight in the second period, and the Solihull Barons pull away even further with that sixth goal. Six one the Barons. Far side now saw against the boards. Also from Gaddington finds Otterson. Otterson. Oh, you couldn't have through gone. to Brittle, and what we've just seen there was a spectacular Gary. It was. Uh, I don't know how spectacular. It was so easily done. It was almost like everybody was standing still. Pass comes in from Saw. Otterson receives it. Draws the Dragons out. Lovely little pass through to Brittle. Brittle round. Armstrong. 7-1. Face off. Won by the Barons. 11.30 in the second period. 7-1 to the Solihull Barons. The Dragons are certainly not going to look for a repeat performance of this fixture last week where they suffered a 15-3 defeat to the hand of the Barons at their barn. Something needs to be done now. We're only in the second period. Barons, look to pick that up, but Jones keeps it in play for the Dragons. Barons jump straight back on that, try and find Brittle. Wainwright has to come back. 
beats Brittle to the puck. Dipno. Stretch pass to Parry. Alex Parry takes it in. Looks to go inside. Tries to oh, get around Selwood, but Selwood does enough to force him to have to go around the net. He can only play it around now. Wainwright picks that puck back up. Comes out with it off the boards. Tries to keep it in by Jones. Unfortunately, it's come out. He just dumps that in. We go for a quick forwards change. And again, Barron's picked that up at the blue with Bruce. Bruce, enough time to look up. Sieber's on his own. Goes to the corner. Broden picks up the loose puck that comes out. Backhand. Tries to find Hetherington. Doesn't. Nichols comes out of his net. Worrell chases it down. Wild shot from Broden just to put it into the corner. It's Ryan Selwood now behind his own net. 13 10 gone in the second period. Big stretch pass. Eaton near side. Morgan forced to chase down. Gets there first, but Eaton puts a body on enough for him to get around Morgan. Austin comes out with the puck. Looks to break forward. Gav Austin. As we see Brodine going in for the face off now. Wins that draw, but it's very quickly broken oh, through by the Barrett. Eaton. Oh, Eaton beats the leg race. Picks the puck up, find, tries to find Farrell. Man back for the Dragons. Big hit comes in. Parry and Jones. Wainwright's in there. Puck comes out. Shot comes in from Selwood. It's deflected though. We've got a break home with Brodeen. It's two on two, three on three. Back door. Oh. Dipnall unable to reel that in. Barons. Get away with that one. Wainwright, unable to reel that in. Selwood still. Go take the shot. And it's in! With five seconds remaining in this period, Gary. Ryan Selwood, bit of a broken play, loose puck. As a go, near side, post. And it's in. Well, just as quick as we're on one goal attempt for the Dragons. Straight down the other end of the ice. The Barons showing their dominance tonight. And they've just snatched another goal at 7-1. Oh, sorry. 8-1. <laughs> so, with literally seconds remaining in this period, the face-offs won by the Dragons. But there's the buzzer. A very dominating period for the Solihull Barons with a well-travelled bench. The home team of the Dragons finding it rough here at the Den tonight. Yeah, it looks like the Barons are pretty much canning on where they left off the last time against the Dragons. And they've taken into this second period break an 8-1 lead over the D-side team. Join us after the break and we'll bring you more of the action. So as we get ready to start this third and final period, here at the D-side Leisure Centre, the Dragons' Den. Solihull Barons, 8-1 to the good so far. Gary, the Dragons cannot afford a result like last week in that 15-3 defeat to the Barons. No, it's, um, but, but going on, on what we've seen so far, the, it's, it's most likely going to be. They've got to do something. They've got to get that defence tightened up, stop letting them have a free reign and giving them those uh, avenues to shoot. Immediately the Barons in possession with this puck with Selwood. Selwood off the boards to Saw Saw, tries to flick it on. It's kept in by Brodine. Back now with the Barons, go to E to D, using the boards behind the net. Wainwright picks it up off the boards, puts that back in, Selwood's far side. Picks it up, tries to clear it out to Saw, but Jones steps up, shuts that pass lane off. Thomas Saw now back. Behind his own net. Marcus Maynard in front, stretch pass. Finds Otterson. Saw and Otterson tag teaming up again. Shot comes in straight into the glove of Armstrong. Face off, won by the Dragons. Try and play off the boards with Morgan. Puck comes up and goes down. Morgan 
tries to find Dippen on the far side, does so. Puck comes round. And Hetherington's on to bring that in. Bennett. With Hetherington, finds Chapel behind. Ooh. Chapel Josh had Nich a chance then. Josh Nichols read that really well, got down in time. Denies Andy Chapel. Morris meets Morgan just before the blue. But Hetherington comes out with that. No, Morris. Hetherington again. Tries to find the pass. Broden unable to reel that in. Dip off our side now. Morris. Skates up hook in. Austin's chasing him down. Matt Morris unable to bring that back out into the slot. Still tied up in the corner. And we're going to have a call. Who's that? Looks like it's going to be on Matt Morris. And we've got words going on. And that's Adam Brittle and someone. And Lewis Morgan as well. Morgan and Selwood. Now we've seen Lewis Morgan go before on the show, Gary. He's not afraid to be a young lad. Ryan Selwood. Chatting him down. Broden's gone to the box. Dragons win. That face off, but dispossessed very quickly again by the Barons. Barons looks to break out, stretch pass near side, finds Eaton. Eaton puts that in. Oh, and he tries to find Harrison off the board, rebound. Chapel was there, puts it back into the corner. Those stretch passes are killing them. As Chris Jones now for the Dragons, head up, finds Hetherington near the side. Selwood picks the loose puck up, turns that back round. Finds Eaton, Eaton takes it over. Has Bruce in support. Looks to go in tight. Tries oh, to go in himself. Well stopped. And again. Armstrong, double save. Oh, no there way. it is. Rebound fell to the man on the back post. Wide open once again. And it's Eaton. Ed Eaton with the goal. 11 minutes 18 in the third period. Well, they've been putting the pressure on. Dragons have done well up to that point to hold them off. But it's not enough. Barons have come in at that back post, put the, put the puck in the net, and they've now extended their lead to eight clear goals, 9-1. As we resume play after that Barons goal. Miscommunication there, Parsons didn't know he had the puck between his skates. Bruce picks a loose puck up, takes a shot. And it's a goal, Josh Bruce immediately pounces back on that loose puck. Armstrong's not happy, slams his blade on the, the ice. But the performance tonight of the Barons certainly represents the goal amount. Josh Bruce adds another one. So the face-off is won by the Barons, 10-1, with 11 and a half minutes gone in this third and final period. I said at the start of the show, Gary, the Dragons had to be careful. Damage limitation was the key word I used. An opportunity as well. It seems like they've not managed any, any sort of onslaught at all. Selwood takes another shot, just goes wide. What more can the Dragons do to try and get anything out of this game? Well, they need to find something, and they need to find something quick if they just survive this season. Otherwise, they're going to find themselves in a playoff battle at the bottom of the Morley, fighting for their survival. Far side now. Puck is with Parry. Tries to play it off the board, but Dan Harrison for the Barons is there. It's picked up by Craig Lukovic behind the Dragons' net. Plays that forward. Finds Sean Dipnell. Dipnell has time to skate and look up. Puts it straight into the slot, but nobody's there. Morgan almost loses his edge. Now forced to go behind the Barons net, plays that round. Brodeen, Brodeen, just rides the check there. Morgan comes across. Selwood and Morgan again exchanging words. Oh. And, oh, it certainly seems like Brodeen's not happy with what's going on. It's yeah, Joe Henry in there as well. It looked like he got gripped round the shoulders there. Something was being said, and oh yeah. And they're having fun pushing players around, quite clearly. Bennett's itching to go. You can see Bennett in there. Morgan's in there. Brodeen's in there. There's Harrison. Henry. 
Selwood. Harrison and Bennett sharing a smile. But the players being penalised for that one are going to be Lewis Morgan once again for the Dragons and Ryan Selwood for the Barons. Gary, I'm almost running the ink out of my pen on this sheet. <laughs> I might have to turn it over and continue on the back. It's as much as... Uh, oh, and um, it's two players for the Barons. As a second Baron enters the box, that's Joe Henry. And unsurprisingly, mirrored on the Dragons' side is Mikhail Brodine. Well, that was the initial fight. A more rough in I think you're going to find with that Gary. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it looked like he got grabbed around the back of the neck. Oh, and Morgan appears to have been tossed from this game. That's the second dragon. Face off draw won by Andy Chapel for the Dragons. Inside Barron's defensive zone, but oh. they've lost the puck. We've got a break. It's two on two. Pass comes in. It's in, and it's in. You can see it coming. Matt Morris with the goal, break away there, taken off the stick of Ryan Jones, skated down at pace. We said before, they've got the speed, um, something that the Dragons seem to be lacking. When it comes on the counter-attack, they're quick, and they've made it pay with another goal in this third period. As we get back underway after that goal for the Barons, 17.53 in this third period gone Barons now with a 10 goal lead, and the Dragons are fighting to get anything out of this they can now and the Barons certainly ain't letting up as Maurice goes near side, round Jones, tries to find a man out in the slot but the puck loses its way around the pack of the net, tries to backhand it, oh, some miscommunication again with the Dragons and it's Mulcahy that ends up coming out with that. Shot comes in. Armstrong turns that round. Picked up by Gav Austin now. Austin plays that through. Tipped on by Hetherington. Barons. Play that round. And they're just going to try and slow this down. We've gone in the middle. Brogan and Henry. We knew it was coming. Well, there's punches flying in. Brogan's a big guy, but Henry's not. Right from Brodine, slug it away, good job, good job again. Trying to get him off balance, Henry's got the shirt over his head. Brodine's got the better of him here. Again, throwing the uppercut, big right from Brodine. Tussling, I mean, tussling, the referee's on the way. Oh. <laughs> Sportsmanly pat on the back there by the pair of them. Well, well, that's great to see, Gary. Good sportsmanship, even at this state, late stage of the game. Yeah, it's uh, Brodine's out the game by the look of it. As Joe Henry. Oh, no, he's gone for the stick. That's yeah, all the equipment going to be returned to its owners. <laughs> We'd heard about Mikhail Broden's fighting ability. We've finally seen it, and it's certainly not one to be messed with. 30 <laughs> seconds remaining, so, in this period, Gary, in this game. Yeah. It's uh, it's been exciting, but it's been very one-sided. The ice certainly tilted in the favour of the Barons. Well, we knew the Dragons didn't want a repeat performance of the previous fixture. They didn't want to suffer such a major loss. They've managed to claw back five goals as of that, as the puck's dropped and it's picked up by Lukovic and the Dragons. But they've still suffered quite a heavy defeat here tonight. Yeah, it's... It's not what they needed. Uh, it's going to keep them rooted to the bottom of the morally. And, uh, you know, it's, there's some tough games coming up for them as well. Puck comes across by Jones. Jones loses his stick. Hetherington finds it. Trying to dig it out. Uses a little bit of skill. Bennett near side now. Tries to clear that, but it's picked up by Dave Rogers. Rogers plays that out for the buzzer. And we have ourselves a game. 